Yeah, I've tried the Total Sonic Annihilation with, uh, I remember back 10 years ago, with a boss uh, CE2 chorus, and that was a, a crazy little bit that you said. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lu pada ngerti kagak lu? Kagak! 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 Ya, ini gitu. Dia ini... Maksudnya gua... Translate! Translate! Eh, lu... Orang gampret! Sorry for my bad English. So... What do you imagine to build these battles? What... Your... Your... Inside your head... To build this... Wah... All sorts of things. I guess fucked up nightmares. You just—it's all sorts of different things. I'm really into like engineering and different things, electrical engineering. And so, as much as I can possibly learn about new technologies, we're always kind of sort of developing and coming up with different things. And sometimes they're standard. And then we'll always take some standard idea and just try to fuck it up as much as possible and see what options can kind of be created. And being a musician that travels around and uh, likes to like destroy a lot of stuff, and uh, you kind of get an idea for uh, you know what other people you know might be kind of interested in and what we want to be able to control. So that's a lot of the design of a pedal is like how you can fuck something up and how we can make like a weird paintbrush for people to paint with. So, um, uh, your pedal is known as like uh, a very destructive sound, like you know, like uh, uh, fast forward and 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 and, and all the stuff. But uh, I want to know that uh, how you perceive like uh, 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 the, pers the your pers your perspective about the beauty beauty of the of the fuss itself and I mean I mean like uh, uh, it's not a lot of people like you know like I don't like fuss pedal because it's like sounds like uh, you know sounds like a fart or like I, I really like uh, you know I like, love farts <laughs> you know like uh, I, I, I really just like OCD or TS9 and, and what's what's the background uh, all the basic idea that you made that sound uh, I think I just really got into, um, like, again, a lot of, like, noise artists and saw a bunch of, like, really insane bands. And then even just liked a lot of, like, uh, you know, being around at the time when, like, cassettes were really big. And even just, like, you'd be rummaging through bands and get old records and having really shitty record players and really shitty cassette decks. You, you know, you got used to, like, listening to the Ramones with, like, a high-pitched squeal the whole time going on. And, um... Then I, those kind of sounds just sounded so exciting. It seemed like there was even like eight track cassette. Uh, you know, it would seem like there was something else playing with the music besides what like the artist intended. And those kinds of sounds, or when people would be breaking things or uh, lighting things on fire or destroying stuff, and you get all these sounds which you just don't get a chance to hear anywhere. And I feel like. Other people come from the designing of pedals from a background of the electrical engineering side and it's real mathematical and worked out. And, uh, I just kind of have a different perspective of seeing all these different crazy bands and all this stuff. So I want to make things to push that limit or that envelope of you know, what it sounds like to like, uh, hook your guitar up to a car battery or something. Yeah. And, uh, they turned that into what you can do with an effects pedal on it. So, yeah, that's what we do. So, yeah, uh, because um, that's why audio pedals is like a different aesthetics. Uh, 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 for for instance, like uh, the popular pedals, like uh, that you said, like full tones or Ibanez or anything. It's like uh, very interesting to see um, the other side of uh, so-called uh, beautiful aesthetics. I mean, uh, yeah, you can go like uh, very, very um, uh, like good sounding overdrive uh, with clarity and such that that kind of things. But uh, with your pedals, they have like, so a different 
kind of, uh, I don't know, different kind of art. I mean, like, yeah, as you said, you plug a guitar to car battery. <laughs> yeah. So, as that by audio pedals is like, um, uh, getting bigger and bigger, um, how far do you challenge yourself of uh, not making a popular a base, a pedal based on the popular circuit like Figma or Red? Um, uh, what 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 makes you didn't go that way? Don't go to that direction. Uh, I mean, I just kind of feel like, what's the point? You know, if we were going to be trying to make something that was kind of similar to what other people are doing, like. If there's some really great art out there, uh, you know, let that exist as it is, you know. Um, you may as well kind of create something that's different. And same thing even kind of with this band, The Places of Very Strangers, there's not really bands that are doing this kind of thing. You can say that there's elements of other things or even basis of some of these effects pedals, but, uh, uh, you know, I feel like you, if you're going to make something, you should make it with, uh, you know, something that kind of nobody's ever sort of heard before or seen before. And, and then um, that way it's like you're putting something kind of useful into the world. And if you are then, uh, you know, we've gone so deep into this working on crazy experimental effects battles, you start to get into these crazy different worlds of things that nobody's ever kind of pushed stuff to. So uh, it's... I think that that's kind of fun, and interesting, yeah. and a different, like, unique perspective on yeah. it. And actually, I, I just heard that uh, the edge from you two using your pedals. And which one is it? Uh, he, I, he, well, what's, what's the story behind it? Uh, well, uh, there was... I mean, yeah, you do the story. You trust, like, the edge, like, really uh, clarity and stuff, but... Using your pedals. Yeah, it's great. I guess, you know, I think that there's, with our effects, it's good even for like jazz musicians, classical music, or anybody to be able to have that range. You know, you always kind of want to have as much dynamics as possible. But uh, the Edge, the story was like their guitar tech emailed us and was like, Do you have these pedals in stock? And listed a bunch of pedals. And we told him what pedals we had. And then he didn't write me back, but maybe like an hour. Later, our doorbell rang, and um, there was like a guy with a check, like a courier, who was like, uh, yeah, here, this is for those pedals. And then so we're like, oh, I didn't even know, and then gave them the pedals, and you know, a check with U2 is pretty crazy. Oh, you got U2. <laughs> yeah, I got U2. <laughs> no! Uh, I, I think, apparently, he was talking in some interview. I've never met The Edge. Whatever, uh, but uh, don't really care. The, uh, um, but he was in uh, some interview, and you could hear it on maybe their latest record. It's like the supersonic buzz gun. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. uh, uh, I would feel bad because after that kind of happened, there was sort of like a bunch of kids who were like, I'm trying to build a supersonic buzz gun, and I looked online and I got the schematic, and uh, you just can't replicate it because like we've sourced these very particular batch from like a certain date of transistors where if you get them like a month later they don't sound the same and stuff. So uh, I, if, if anyone ever writes me and wants to clone the pedal, I'll send you the transistors or something. But uh, uh, it's always very precise on all the fuzz pedals and stuff. Like, you know, I just, I, I wish they were more universal, but uh, you know, it's very, very finely tuned. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting one of Alright, this. Hey, Oliver, what's up? Hey, not too much. How you doing? Good, pretty good. Hey, I was wondering, what's your favorite non Dead by Audio fast pedal? Uh, I guess uh, I would say, oh shoot, uh, maybe the Maestro Brassmaster. Okay. Yeah. Is, is, it, is it on your pedal board? No. Okay. But <laughs> no. Uh, but there's even some people who made some clones, like uh, called the Ass Master. It's like a bass fuzz pedal, and it makes your guitar kind of sound like a saxophone. But uh, yeah, yeah, Maleko they make it a clone, and some other people have made clones. Uh, but it's like it's so rich and kind of fucked up, and like it doesn't track exactly an octave up with your guitar playing. So it just, it's so, it kind of makes your guitar into something 
that you don't want it to, maybe, which, so you kind of have to constantly change what you're playing to make it work. Is that glitchy or something? A little glitchy. Okay. Yeah. And it just, it like changes from being an octave fuzz to a ring modulator to like just the wall of sound. And uh, depending on if you hit like one string or two string or three strings or, you know, hit the guitar with a frying pan. Uh, the different kinds of uh, sound. But it's really, you know, it's just beautiful. Say thanks. Okay, so, uh, depends on about based on that question. Uh, which that by audio pedal is your favorite? Or the most challenging uh, build? Uh, the most challenging to build is maybe... Uh, maybe the... I don't know. I, oh, the, all the delay pedals we do are very challenging to build. Because you have to tune all the chips. It's like it uses this very common... Uh, chip that people used all the time, but uh, we kind of just like push it to the limit and it just makes it a real pain in the ass to build those things. <laughs> it can sometimes take like a day or something to, to find the right chips to make it work. Uh, sometimes it's real a breeze, but that kind of changes. And so that's a pain in the ass. Uh, <laughs> but I mean, that's a great pedal, the uh, Echo Dream 2. I really love the mobile pedal, the Echo Master. Sing through that all the time. It's just it's cool to be able to control your vocal sound without having to rely on the sound person. Uh, and I love the Apocalypse. That's one of my favorite ones, just because the fuzz is so messed up and there's so many different fuzz sounds. When recording, I always have an Apocalypse near me that you can like run drums through or vocals or anything you want. Just even if it's blended in a little bit or something, it just uh, has a lot of sounds that you'll never get with any like B or API or any of that stuff, so it's good. So I've heard your request the uh, Place for Strangers. That was uh, really uh, uh, unique uh, snare drums sound. Yeah, I mean like, did you do, uh, I, I don't know, I, I always imagine that you run, in, uh, run the, the the snare channel into like some fuzz or anything very often. Yeah. Oh yeah, because uh, we'll always like, um, you know, every studio we've ever recorded in pretty much like we built, you know, or I built with my hands, you know, it'll be in some loft somewhere in New York and, uh, you know, the, the spaces are tight. If you've got some weird, odd-shaped room with like blankets and towels all screwed up to the walls everywhere, and then uh, you'll just kind of record it any way you can, you know. And some of that stuff, uh, like we used to have this drummer who would, when he would get really drunk and he would not want to practice, so he, he was really strong, dude, like a gorilla, and he would just take his drumstick, punch through the snare, and be like, I guess practice is over. And uh, so then we bought him this Kevlar drum head that he didn't know and we put it on his drum head and he couldn't punch through it no matter how hard he'd, he'd hit it. But uh, it would just be so wavy and like the worst sounding snare drum. So you'd always have to run it through some fuzz or something to make it sound good because it'd sound like some, I don't know, like you were... It's very distinct. Yeah. It was a means to an end. It was me trying to make it as close to the sound of a real snare, maybe as possible. So, my question is, what happened to your guitar? Uh, <laughs> is that your main guitar? It's one of them. It's it got broken a lot of times. Here we go. <laughs> so. <laughs> Well, it, it, you can see the cracks. All my guitars have these many cracks down the middle where they all get kind of broken and fractured over time um, because all you really need is a stick with some strings on it to be able to make sound. <laughs> um, but this one was broken and on this last tour uh, we played a show and I don't know, I guess I got excited and threw the guitar in the air. And um, uh, some kid ran up on stage and grabbed the other half of the guitar. <laughs> so uh, this is all that's left, but it's okay. Did you, did you use this okay. for recording? Yeah, it sounds great. Yeah, it definitely sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> it uh, adds another level to the sound. Or it takes what, one what, what pickups do you use? Uh, it's these really uh, shitty pickups. They're called. Um, 
tone of God. <laughs> they, they used to be about like $10 a piece, but they've gone up in price to about $20 a piece. But, uh, I use these lipsticks because like the sweat in the beer and stuff won't uh, corrode the wine beads. Uh, so I use these ones which uh, don't get rusty. <laughs> Okay, uh, whatever. I was wondering what. So he was asking you what 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 is your uh, most favorite pedal, and I want to ask about the which one uh, which uh, which pedal that you hate the most. Wow. Um, I guess my favorite pedal would be the uh, the Schumann PLL. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but uh, that that company Earthquaker Devices just did. A clone of it with the data corruptor oh, yeah, yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. It's like this crazy, like super octave. You yeah, yeah. use a phase lock loop to like capture your sound and then resynthesize it. Mm -hmm. You know, so it just sounds really insane, really nuts. Um, and my least favorite pedal would probably be uh, the uh, Schumann Electronics PLL. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. Um, but, uh, I don't know, uh, least favorite pedal. Uh, I don't know. Most overrated. Most um, overrated. Oh, there's a bunch of those pedals. I don't like pedals which you can't barely hear it. You know, I like. I feel like if you're gonna have a pedal, may as well do something. You know, so some of those like DOD chorus or, or phaser pedals or something like, you can hear it on its own and maybe it's fine for recording, but. I want a pedal where you can hear it with the band playing. So if you can't hear it, you should uh, throw it away in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, maybe the last question before we go to trying the pedals. Sure. What's the What's your proudest moment as uh, the founder of that Boy Uh I think my proudest moment was. Um, we, uh, we found out that our space was getting shut down. We had a venue in our house. It was like put on by other friends that I lived with. And um, uh, we decided to transform, it was like me and like 10 other people lived there. We decided to transform all our rooms and our whole space into like this really big art show. We had like a month long of shows and all these bands playing. And, uh, and I think... All of the bands. Uh, the bands that played, it was like Lightning Ball, like uh, Jeff the Brotherhood, uh, OCs, um, lots and lots of bands, uh, uh, Ty Seagull and stuff. Oh, but, so, uh, it was all just a bunch of friends, bands and whatnot playing, and um, it was just so awesome, the community of the people who kind of came together to celebrate that end. It was just like non-stop, our house was just filled up with people. Uh, I think originally there were supposed to be like 10 artists who were going to do installations and then it ended up being like 130 or something. And so it was just like really cool that everyone came together and celebrated all these shows and uh, really fun that all these bands like took their time out of their tour to like fly out to New York and play these Indian shows. Uh, it was really special. Oh, cool. Cool. Oh, not so last question. Yeah, then, whatever, ask. Hi, Oliver. Hello. Hi, uh, so I watched one of your performances on KXP. Yeah. You basically just crash your guitar with a strobe lightning, which is one of the coolest things I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, cool. Uh, and I was hoping you do the same tonight. I don't know what's going to happen. Never know. Yeah, so I was wondering. Do you have any plan to make some kind of, you know, tools like ego, but specifically to make noises outside of, outside of pedals? I mean, you also, uh, if I'm not mistaken, DBA also make an art machine, right? Sure. We yeah. Can, uh, yeah. I was wondering if you do you have any plan to make some tools specifically to make noise outside of pedals? Thank you. Uh, I, I, we, we work on some of those things sometimes. Um, we're maybe going to come up with these like light activated sensors that you can plug into CD controls. 
But there's even some people who make some cool things, uh, like um, like PA so pickups are really cool. And sometimes we'll travel with a bunch of those, or even effects for drums and stuff. And uh, I think, yeah, possibly, you know, sometimes that stuff is cool to use. I like the Evo, but that's fun. And uh, anything like playing the guitar with a strobe light, you can uh, anything that's like electromagnetic can make sound through your pickup. So I suggest you pick up a T television set and put it next to your guitar and listen to it, draw the lines on the screen. You're out of it. But do that stuff. Like that's really cool. Like get yourself a bag full of rusty nails. You throw it at a guitar. You know, it's a cool sound. Thanks for the advice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, ada yang nanya lagi nih ya? Ada? Tiga, dua, satu. Oke, ya, sip. Kita sekarang mau coba dengerin uh, panels, panels ya. Jadi kayak kayak kalian bisa merapat ke sini sih untuk untuk melihat langsung dan untuk putar-putar kopi. -putar so uh, we get a trick in the panels. Ya, kita coba. Oke, yuk. I'll be here. For so uh, these are a bunch of the effects panels that we make. A bunch of crazy things. Wait, 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 wait.